So uh, as you see in there, there is no anatomical noise in there. It's just a heart. And what we can do, we go and we take a X-ray image as a specific uh, um, energy. We make a map of that and we create a map equivalent in aluminum. And uh, Stratasys has printed this for us in aluminum. So if you put it just under the X-rays in here, There is actually like a head phantom. Let me. And for example, if you want now to have this head phantom with a model that you want to do a procedure where you want to see, I can, can I see those markers on the stand? Or can I do all the stuff? Uh, so uh, this is not uh, the best one, but I can actually, if I have a phantom of the vascular in the brain, you can go in there and now you can't see your model any longer. You see what you see under the x-rays in the clinic simulated in reality. So that, uh, that is the anatomical uh, noise that you can get in a way. So you can't now see where is the chamber and where, where are the other things. You actually simulate the clinical reality of it. Of it. And that is done by, again, we take a uh, skull from a from an actual patient, we do the we match the intensity with an aluminum thickness. We create this topographic map, and then we three D print it uh, to create uh, uh, almost an image like uh, uh, to, uh, 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 of the uh, actual setup. Uh, and uh, obviously, this is only in AP. But uh, if you want to do other things, you can uh, uh, you can combine them further. So that's uh, that's. Uh, Another thing, this is more for image quality. Uh, can you see a device? Can, are your markers on the stent uh, properly done? Uh, are you going to be able to actually see when you deploy the stent? Can you see the strut? Can you see the device behind the anatomical noise or not? That's, uh, that's the idea of this, uh, of this blade.